Minecraft is a game that we've all played. Whether it's stumbling into the deep dark on accident or looking in the eyes of an enderman, we all know that feeling. And they've recently updated it, so let's see what that's all about. And we're in Minecraft 1.20. So some information for you guys while I download this update is Minecraft gives a new update every year. 1.19 was last year, 1.20 is this year. This update is not as much as I expected, because I thought it was gonna be at least a gig, but it's only 47 megabytes. So, who knows? I'm currently using my MacBook for this. I know gaming on a Mac. And if you're wondering, we will be exploring some of the new stuff. Um, these is the Cherry Blossom World. I can get into all my worlds. Um, personal Survival, Mumbo Jumbo. I will have his videos linked, some of his videos linked in the comments. He's really good with Redstone, which is basically electricity in Minecraft. Greenfield, which is a huge city. Redstone Advanced, which I basically downloaded his Redstone World. Um, this is stupid. This is garbage. At 20, they added a bunch of things, so I'll show you. But for now, I want to show you what you can do in like a base or something in here if you haven't pl played Minecraft. Um, this is a base that I made a while ago, but it's kind of cool and has some like cool interests and stuff. So first, if you can't tell, this is a block of lava. You jump through. And then you hit the water so you don't die. And you hit, I hate anyone else have this problem with their mouse knee couples. It's really annoying. Then this has a bunch of iron golems in there, which are basically just monsters made of iron that kill you. Then lava, classic, and I don't even know what's under there. I think that's more lava. And then up here, we've got a netherite, which is basically just strong, stronger than diamond armor, or at least strong armor. Move diamond armor, and then I. There's actually a little glitch, not glitch, but if you put an item frame on top of a barrel, you can click through the, through the item frame on the side and you can get into it. And this is something I was building my little brother. This was like a little doomsday area, another hidden part of the bunker. There's like a nether portal and some smelters and a crafting table and a chest with the flint and steel made for you lighting this. I think we come out in a really bad part of the nether too. But then anyway, you can get out here by falling down here into this. And you can run through, um, visit any of the traps you want. Now I don't think I made an exit, but it doesn't really matter that much because we can just do one of these. Anyway, and then we have, this is my survival world that I play on my own. Um, I'd show you, but I don't like where I am because I'm kind of screwed. I don't even know what I'm currently doing. What am I currently doing in survival? Oh, I renovated a village house. I'm gonna hear all the villagers, but I have my enchanting setup up here. We've got, oh, this is for mobs at night. I can come up here and like snipe them. There's, there's a pillager outpost over there and then I just have a bed and a chest over here. I just almost killed myself. I don't know why I have a barrel and a chest. That's stupid. And a grindstone and now here again, there's the beds and smelters. We can make a world to test out some new stuff. Uh, world generation on here is pretty good, and if you know you, the way the Minecraft works is you have seeds. Basically, you'll never get. What the heck was that? Oh, that scared me. The horse just came out of nowhere. My right, first step is we can look at the one of the new things they added was that's jungle. It was was um, not spruce. It's a different type of it wood. There are two different types. We have cherry oak. Which I think looks okay. It's very pink. I could see a lot of like I could see this being used and then block and bamboo. I don't love the bamboo. But like the bamboo door looks kind of ugly. But what I need to do is I uh, um so I'm not showing you my house, but as you can see we're geared up. We have full netherite armor, two stacks of arrows, full netherite gear. Oh, I should load the crossbow. A fully loaded crossbow and a totem of them dying, which basically means I'm pretty sure that I cannot die, even though I'm in creative. So that is stupid, I don't even know why, but what, I'm so dumb. And there we go, we have our shield now, because for some, it's supposed to be in um, creative, or, or obviously it's just to be in creative, so I'm not flying around, but maybe I should get an elytra. Okay, we've gotten ourselves, our, we've gotten ourselves an elytra, and what that basically lets me do is fly. Yeah, I don't think you can do it in creative mode, so we're going in not creative mode. What we need to do is, I think first, I uh, found a village. That's interesting. We need to find a desert 
so we can check out the sniffer and a few new things that we're gonna have to go in the nether later, which I just realized. This is not a desert biome. Oh, come on. Is that the really cool coral reef stuff? Ooh, is this it? This might be a desert biome though. Yeah, this is a desert biome. Let's go. The problem with using an Elytra is that it like, everything, my render distance is high because I can, this computer's powerful. Ooh, there we go. We found a, ooh, the, there's one of the new mobs. We got a camel. We got a camel. Let's go ride a camel. We got our camel. Woohoo! Let's go. Ooh, it has a lot of health. You can see it has almost a little over one and a half stacks of hearts. That's convenient. Ooh, that's cool. It can like, look at this. I'm pretty sure it can walk on water. Like in real life they can. It's loud though, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, it can walk on water. No, it can't. What? Yeah, it can walk on, I don't even know. This is stupid. All right, next, next thing we should go for is there's pottery shards, if you find, ooh, is this suspicious sand? This might be suspicious this Okay, let's make another portal. Just making sure the noise was turned off because I do not like noise. But this is another portal. Basically, if you light obsidian on fire, it'll make a purple portal, which is another portal, which if you go through, it will teleport you into basalt delta. Uh, there is my nether portal. Now, this is just the basic nether. It's less bright, so I think if I, Anyway, this we can hopefully see better through the gloom and stuff. There's lava everywhere. We're in nether wastes. Where is the stupid, where is a dumb bastion? Which I know it's hard to find. I'm not saying that I know they're easy to find. Is this what we're in, I forgot the basalt uh, delta? Okay, yeah, sorry guys, I don't spend much time in the nether. I go in the nether to mine ancient debris and get blaze powder. That's literally it. Okay. Come on. And also, I don't play like this. Like, this is not, if you're actually going to play the game, do not put your, throw yourself in creative and give you, give yourself all the good stuff. Like, that's just not fun to play with. But I'm just trying to get this done quickly so you guys don't have to sit here for a while. Okay, we finally found the different one. We found the, um, the Crimson Forest. Uh, hopefully that's good. Hopefully not because why would it be? Um, there's nothing in the end that we need to look at because there's no real big changes to the end. Um, looks like I can go through this way. I'm literally just trying to find a stupid bastion. In which case, I probably won't even find what I'm looking for. I guess I can tell you what it is. It's basically, there's a thing that you can use to upgrade your armor to netherite. And nether, like diamond armor to netherite. I'm already using in netherite. But, and there's Minecraft. There's some stuff I'm forgetting, I'm sure. But this is just my look at it and trying to figure out um, if it actually is like worth using more computing power and if it actually improves the game that much. Stupid netherrack. I'll let you on fire. This is so I did not realize that was an achievement. I've never gone into soul sand, whatever it's called. Because that is soul sand or soul dust or whatever it's called. I never, I don't really go in there. I don't really, try, again, I don't really go in the nether that much. I don't really, really go in the overworld. Basically it's this, it's a netherite smithing template, which will let you upgrade your thing netherite. And it's, it's pretty cool. I think it's useful. Like you can make it so you get netherite gear and it's easier on you to get that netherite gear. It's not a bad thing, but it's not like OP. It's not an OP thing. You can still, I'm sh pretty sure, still mine ancient debris. So like, I'm just gonna go strip mining. There we go. We have found some, why don't I get the achievement? I don't know. Um, but we have found some ancient debris. So you can still craft it, I'm sure. You can still smelt it, I'd assume, to get. No, oh, there's only two, fine. Anyway, you, you can still get that. But that actually was less than a thought. I'm going to head back into the overworld. And we are in a jungle. That concludes this video. I will hopefully do one on 1.21 next year. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>